All right, hi everybody. Bonkai 922. Just did Kenichi. That was pretty good. Just did Seven Deadly Sins. That was pretty good. Okay. Strike the blood. Now I know what's going to happen here. What people are going to think. And as you probably saw last week's episode of you. I went, I went bonkers. Now the ending of last week's episode. My reasoning of why I gave it the rating I gave it was because of that, that ending of the episode. Now, obviously, there's some reviewers who shall not be named who obviously disagree and think it's, yeah, he's immortal. And it was shock value. And, and, and I'm going to say this. The battle in this episode was dope. I said, I don't give a shit what anyone has to say. The battle in this episode was fucking awesome. Needless to say, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Giving this a 4 out of 5. Um, I mean, the beginning, it was kind for me a letdown. You know, it's, they didn't really show. They, they basically, basically, um, well, actually, the very beginning, um, we see that girl who is supposed to be, um, Kugo's, um, main squeeze. <laughs> Uh, and listen, regardless of how some reviewers want to say to me, oh, it sucks, I like what they're doing in this show. I like what they're doing. Now, is this going to be... No, but it's going to be a good show. I think, anyway. I think it's going to be a good show. Be a good anime to watch. Now, I noticed in the comment section of this one website I was watching it, which I didn't really watch it on that website, but it was Anime Avenue. <coughs> this guy said, they skipped a few scenes from the manga. And this is the whole point everyone says, read the manga, read the manga. But regardless, this is a good show. And this episode, I like what they did in it. As simple as that, four out of five. Now, beginning part of this, we get his main squeeze, uh, and she's, she's a hacker and stuff, and she, like, you know, there's computers and stuff, and she's, um, apparently she's, she's in the, the area that, you know, she lives there, and the, the, this, this basically, like, I don't know what they called it, it's basically, it keeps the, the island afloat, because it's a man-made island, um, and there's like a rumble and an earthquake and shit. And basically the rumble and the earthquake is Rudolph and his familiar. They um, are going through and knocking out the doors and shit. And we get that scene. Now, after that, next scene we get, yeah, we get Kugo Akatsuki and he's alive. Now, basically, it was like, off screen. That's... I mean, I don't know how you look at it with it being off screen. That kind of irked me, but still, the girth, the, the girth of this episode was the fight. And I thought the fight was awesome. And the story. That's the way I look at it. So, whoever's hating hockey, hey, listen, you have to, I want to make this. I like the fight in this episode. I thought it was pretty fucking awesome. Ah, I thought it was pretty fucking awesome. Now, the way, obviously, he, yeah. But anyway, he basically wakes up. She tells him, um, him or Miragi, what happened. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> and he basically... All the blood went back to his body and he, you know, recovered from his, his own injuries. And they have a small talk of what's going on and apparently they find out, yes, he's knocking down the door and apparently, um, they find out why Rudolph is going through this area. He's looking for something. He's basically looking for the severed arm of a priest. 
of a saint, actually. Um, which, actually, it's not a total surprise to me. Because I believe it's the end of the episode. If I'm not mistaken. Um, the name of the episode is, yeah, this right arm of the saint, which is what it is. And he basically wants to take, get it back and bring it back to the church. Now, they find this out and they're ready to go. But before they leave to go to take care of this guy, um, Himuragi basically staying to, you know, you know, Kugo, um, Kotsky, to drink her blood. Because, you know, of the whole thing that, you know, he's not strong enough, and if he were to awaken his power, he would be able to control his familiars and all that jazz as the fourth ancestor. So he agrees, and he drinks her blood, and, you know, so on and so forth. She gets kind of pissed. I, and this is what I like about this show, regardless of what anyone has to say. I like how they're mixing the comedy and the action. Hey, that's the way I look at it. You know, regardless of what anyone has to say. I like it. Now, am I going to go hop on with what I said last week? I was just hyping on the ending. But now that I know where it is, as of right now, at the end of this episode, I can safely say it's a good show. It's a good anime. Great? We'll see. We'll see. Haven't... I'm not um, going to hold back a bit. So call it great. Anyway, like I said, drinks of blood. He gains all these, he, 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 he's ready to go, and they're ready to, they basically then go out and, um, you know, they're going to go after this guy. Apparently, he then, there's a scene also in this episode where he talks to the girl from his, his class, who apparently is like, she's like, got the hots for him, he's a boyfriend, girlfriend kind of thing. <laughs> and talking to her on the phone is Sakatsuki, and he's basically telling her, you know, about this guy and the familiar and so on and so forth. And she explains what, what's going on to him. And then he's going to stop. And then after that, we basically have them going through and confronting him. And apparently, yeah, it was right. It was the right arm of the same. And that's when the battle starts between... Kotsky with Himar Himaragi against Rudolph and his familiar. And, hey, say what you will, but man, he was using his fourth ancestor powers as a vampire. I, um, I felt the fight was good, to a certain extent. I mean, he brought out his familiar, and, you know, give or take. And at one point... He couldn't get through. They were, he was fighting him, and, and he brought out his, you know, Rudolph had his shield. I was like, Tch. And then he was also going on about, Rudolph was kind of a, I, I will say Rudolph wasn't, he's what I would like to call not a big time villain. You know, he wasn't like you know, anything special. But still, I thought the fight was was good. I thought, you know, the thing when he brought out his familiar, that was that was kick ass. That was awesome. It was like a lion and shit. Oh, that's awesome. And you're also talking about how the the island's man made and this guy using the ley lines and dragon. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of mythical shit going on in that. North, south, east, west. That was that was pretty crazy. And I, I like that part of it too. And the fight was awesome. I, I, I was enjoying it. I, I thought, you know, he, he was using a lot of familiar. He was attacking them. He couldn't get through the barrier. And then it was like, it was like a, they were, they were teaming up really nicely. Himaragi and Akatsuki. I liked that. That was awesome. Finally able to break through the barrier and destroy that familiar, the, the familiar's, you know, form. And they basically double teamed that motherfucker. Rudolph and just kicked his ass and that, that was that was pretty special. Now, reason I'm only giving this a four out of five 
is because of the beginning and because of the fact, you know. But I still like the episode. I thought it was good, personally. The beginning was a problem, but I liked the fight. Honest to God, people. I really did. And it was funny. It was like they're mixing the comedy side with the action side. Remember, to anyone who's like, oh, this is shonen, okay? That's another thing to think about. Anyone who's... And I know Hockey and Justin and Roxas and those guys. They obviously feel it's cliché. And it's true, there are some cliche elements, I understand that. But the way I look at it is this. I'm looking forward to still watching this because of what's coming up. That's the way I look at it. I'm not hating on this show. Not happening. But anyway, after that, we was this funny part with him and uh, She, um... It was so funny, this part. She, uh... Um, what did she do? Oh, yeah, he was smelling her, and then he, she went over to her and, and bite her neck, uh, the familiar, so she could be his, and she, she'll survive. And she calls him a paka. That was funny. I was dying over that. It was fucking shit. And after that was another, was a good scene. Whoa. He, he, one of his friends at school is talking to this bird, a raven. I was like, oh shit, what's this? And apparently, they are basically saying that, oh, Himuragi's going to be his queen. Which I thought that was very interesting. And so on and so forth. So obviously, this is not This is only the beginning. This really is only the beginning of this show. Um, a lot more challenges, rough road out, lies ahead for Akatsuki. And we get a scene with... Um, her and Akatsuki, and apparently she's been told that she's going to leave because she broke the law. She broke her weapon, and the organization's going to take her back. But apparently she finds out that's not happening. They give her back the spear, and she's going to stay. So that protect him. Then we have an extra seed, which was... <laughs> it goes to school, and she says she, it turned out negative. Something about the blood when he was sucking her, drinking her blood that was going to be infected or she was going to become his familiar, so to speak. And then he, behind him is the girl that likes him and his sister. Oh, it was, there was funny shit right there. I'm sorry. I was laughing my ass off on that shit. I was uh, calling him a decent and shit. And like, what's your relationship with him? I mean, give... Let me just say right now, give credit credits too. They're mixing it up in this anime. I understand it is very cliche at times, but I still like it. Give it a four out of five. And I like the fact that certain things are happening. And the next part of this show, the next episode, looks interesting. We're getting this blonde guy. This mad king. Mad king. That's the next episode. That's the next title of the episode. Mad, mad, oh, mo, no, not Mad King. Messenger of the War King. So, it, it, listen. Truth be told, episode three at the end was, everyone was shocked about it, but he's immortal. It's like that kind of thing. I understand that. But I still have high hopes for this. I still have high hopes. So, that's the way I look at it. And hopefully, they can up the ante with the fights. I mean, this fight was good, but at some point I say, it could have been great, you know? So this show's going to be a lot of that, I think. It's still good. I still like it. I still think it's going to be really good. But I want to see, I want I want to really see it push the limit if it can. Push the limit. Make it really great with fights. But, yeah. That's the story, people. I'm Bonkai922. If I get messages in the comment section from Justin and Hockey News, like, no, Bonkai, it sucked. I'll be like, hey, man, give it a chance. Right? Just give it a chance. I say to people, give it a chance, okay, before you, 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 you call in the, the executioner and uh, post in judgment on it. Because I still think it's got good hopes. 
And like I said, I like how they're doing this. I know it's cliche, but listen, when you got action, some romance, and some comedy, hey, that's not bad to some extent. Hey, hey, at least it's not the jousting anime. At least it's not the wrestling anime. Those are far worse than Strike the Blood. Far, far worse. Far, far worse. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys on Bonkai Night 22. I'll probably... I'll blow this later today. Yeah. After this is just really... Uh... Right? Oh, right. Yusha and... One Piece. And I... Oh! Maggie comes back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, comes back. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's something to look forward to. I'll be reviewing that later today. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Bonkai Night 2. See you guys later. Hey. It's going to... It's going to get better. I think I got... I got high hopes. I got high hopes for this show. So, yeah, I think it's going to be better. That's all I got for you guys. See you guys later. Peace.